What's up guys, happy Labor Day. I know there's a bunch of you probably out there working and probably a bunch of you out there taking the day off, good for you. Um, I don't need to be here that much longer today. It's almost 11 a.m. Um, I've got six mo guys out, two garden crews for four guys all together, and a guy working in the shop right now. So um, I just feel a little obligated to just stick around for a little bit longer. Um, I'm about to go work in the sprinkler warehouse and kind of work on inventory for a little bit. Then I'll reassess to see if I should stick around or leave. Uh, but yeah, um, you're probably wondering how did I get all the mo guys to, uh, or how did I get all the employees to come into work today? Basically, they get a hundred bucks cash for coming in on a holiday. So, um, aside from that and their budget hours, they're, you know, they'd be losing quite a bit of money if they didn't come in today. So, um, kudos for them. I'm glad um, they're totally helping us out by coming in. There's 94 lawns that are mowed today. So, if they didn't do that, um, it would really backlog the rest of the week. Um, so. Thankfully, they're out there working. What I did was I went to the supply store and took a picture of every label as it was stocked on their shelves, okay? And so then what I did was I took that picture, cropped it out, and then printed them out. So I have a bunch of these. Now I know I'm just beating a dead horse here, but I'm really excited about the fact that I'll be able to walk through this warehouse or container and pinpoint the products I'm gonna need rather than guessing or just assuming that we're gonna need more because it's not in somebody's truck. So again, tedious work, but the payoff is gonna be amazing. Because I see so much potential in sprinklers, and we've actually started feeling the effects of having a more efficient warehouse, uh, better training with the technicians, better system and workflow. We have seen the benefits of revenue in the sprinkler division. But I just wanted to point out that the mowing rivals that if it doesn't beat it because it's so consistent. You know, there are times where the sprinkler guy will go do a $1,500 job and he'll be there for most of the day, if not the whole day, and not finish. And especially because he's gotta go back and test and bury the next day. Sometimes that glue, if you're dealing with main line, you've gotta let it sit overnight. And so if you think about that, uh, they're going into the next day, sometimes with a $800 job to $1,500 job and beyond. And if you look at it that way, the Mo guys are actually making more for revenue because they've got a new set of jobs they've already gotten paid for yesterday's work whereas the sprinklers sometimes they have to go back and so sometimes they're at a project for two days and it's 1500 bucks but then on the flip side of that they'll go do another job and it'll be like 3500 dollars and they get it done in one day so you got to kind of balance out the two i went to a conference this year and i talked to um, some really big time plumbers and and I told them is that a normal thing where sometimes your your tech goes out for the day and doesn't actually charge any payments that day is that normal or is that something I should be concerned about and, and the, this guy is massive New York plumbing company he said that's normal don't freak out that's just the way it is so anyway I just wanted to get that out for some reason I felt like I needed to say this <laughs> 